Let's hop into level 5-8. So the challenge is that they added a van. Alright, so it looks like we have the normal bridge, and then on top of it we got this hole. Ugh. We had to get an E-van from here to here on top of everything? Ew. Here's something I learned from last time I did this bridge. Have two roads at this height be the majority of the bridge, and then all that gets hydraulic are these three roads on the side. Alright, so how the hell do I want to do this midsection? Alright, there we go. It's perfectly symmetrical. At least for now. I still have got to attach this decently though, and I'm not sure how I want to do it. Like, I think I want to attach cable to just smack dab in the center here. Call me crazy, but just using that to hold it up. But I imagine what I actually want is for this to be a split joint and this to start here. So let me test something first. All I want to see is whether or not this holds on its own. Okay, nobody saw that. I forgot a very important part of the bridge. This had to happen regardless. Yeah, there we go. I, I forgot something so obvious. And let me even see if this can just drive across. I mean, that's pretty important. Also, these need to be up, I realized. But good news is this can drive across easily. No challenge whatsoever. So I'm feeling good about that. So what's going to happen is that there's going to be absolutely nothing happen happening between these two buses. Then we're going to have the hydraulics go. And then what kind of sucks is that E and this A bus are going to be on the same damn track. So what the hell do I do with E? At least I have a lot of spare money, so that's fine, I guess. But that is really strange. Alright, let's just see if the hydraulics uh, get anywhere closer, close to where we want. And then, let's slow this down, so you can make sure two things. Okay, the bridge holds, and how do the hydraulics do? Right side fucks everything. Right side just ruins everything. So I might just make these steel right now and focus on one side at a time. Alright. Okay, so these actually expand a little bit too far. They do connect, but the reason why I broke is because I kept trying to expand after connecting. Alright, uh, so this, this goes a little too far. So I'm almost wondering if I want to create a sled for this asshole. This also seems to go too far now. Let's just get these to be perfect, no breaks and all that, and then we'll run it. Perfect! These are absolutely perfect. Exactly what I wanted from those. So now I gotta do right side hydraulics. So if I want to do right side hydraulics, what I'm thinking about is having these be a bunch of triangles up here, like so. Connect them, and we just gotta pull it down. Please let this connect. Oh, it does. All right, that's excellent. I can see this very much not working. Okay, that does not do jack shit. Or what if I move this this way? Oh, shit. This actually might help, having be a bit more out. I still have to do a trap door funny enough. <laughs> I still have to do a trap door for this. It's just the, the difference is the trap door is here now. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to bring this down. So this does not go up. This does not trap door correctly. Oh, 
Oh, wait, this works now. Please go up without breaking. Okay, you know what? I'll handle that tiny snap. Now we have this. As you can see, we have motion. Look at this. Look at the pixels. It is barely being pulled down. And with every single joint that goes over the, the edge, the faster this goes. So it is... Oh my god. <laughs> hey, we did it. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> you know what? This bridge probably works. It's not a big deal because this isn't a win either way. And then we're going to start shaving money because we know this is already fine. First thing is I think this can be a rope. It seems like the other cable takes a lot more. So then I'm going to take these tops and I'm going to replace them with what we see over here. Okay, very good, very good. So it all comes down to, I think, this bus being able to push up this. Among other things. Oh. This holds up, whoa, no. No! No, no, no! Stop that. This also doesn't reach. Maybe a little- Oh, I can make this longer. Oh, that's all- That's so close. Maybe a little bit longer. So I'm trying to see if I can maybe make this part more rigid while still having the first part be able to flex because it needs to flex when the bus hits it in order to actually have it not destroy itself but then it also needs to have be rigid so it can fully get past. Wow, no, it just doesn't have enough horsepower or whatever. Yeah, probably horsepower to push this. I don't know, I could try to... This? <gasps> well, it's over, but is it gonna fall without breaking? Nope. Uh-oh. Oh, it took out some of the bridge with it. Oh, and this fucker didn't even land right. <sighs> Alright, let's make this a cable. A cable? Because we can afford it. You know, maybe that won't snap now. Alright, this works. Over here? Come on. You know what? I'll take that. Will I take that? Am I satisfied with that? I think... I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it. And then eventually I'll come back to this and make it unbreaking. Because I just want to be done with this. So, we're gonna let this run. Slowly but surely. Just get an under budget design. And then I'll come back. This doesn't even feel like cheese. This legitimately feels like the intended way to do it. There. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. I'll come back to that another day. Springboard. Challenge, the checkpoint and the flag are higher. That they are. Higher spring. Okay, well, this is the bigger spring cannon level. Great. Alright, let me just make some cheap stuff here. Because we really don't need an expensive bridge in this section. And it's just going to be a four-part spring launch. And then we're going to make sure we actually hold it in. Alright, let's see if this gets anywhere close to launching to where I want it to. Not a bad start, in all honesty. I'm a little disappointed by the how it actually missed the star, but you know what? That's a pretty good start. Oh, perfect. Alright, so now all we have to do is have this just kind of catch down here. It even lands wheels up. Yeah, this looks super solid. Ooh, okay, a little bit off. Just gotta adjust this, and we'll get it. Nice! 
easiest level of my life. Wow, I thought the challenge world for this was supposed to be hard. Next. All together now. This ch level's gonna be very difficult. So if you guys remember this from my video, and this one gave me a lot of troubles, but once I worked with Argolin, I was able to pull off a solid solution using his tactics he taught me. If you didn't watch the video of me beating this on the non-challenge mode, what the hell are you doing with your life? Because that was a really good video. Uh, now, the challenge seems to be that with one hydraulic, we've got to lift up all these roads together, and it seems that the heights they're lifted to are different. So I can't just have some sort of symmetrical thing that works in all parts. So maybe let's start with A3. All right, let's just make sure we get this one down. And what's going to happen in this section is that from here, we're just going to push it up with hydraulics. Wait, but that's wrong. We need to take this, rotate it a bit. There we go. Thank you! So it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's in the right direction. So I think I'm gonna need a different connection point. All right, so it pulls it up the appropriate length. Let me even try to get it to connect. Just connect. It connects, but we have the massive problem of it's not staying parallel. Oh, it's rotating. So I think that should be able to be fixed by just connecting it to the rest of the um, bridge. So let's try to do that. Hold on. Idea? Hold on. We don't need to lift up the middle roads. What I could actually do is have this still go up to the same height because we're gonna pass through the uh, stop signs regardless. So it's gonna stop here. That's just gonna be lifted up to this great height, drop off, drive here, and then it'll just drive down to over here and then it'll go up in the same way. Let's see. What I need to do now is just create a parallelogram system going to over here to lift this up. A little bit over budget, that's fine for now. Let's see if it works. Not a bad start, kind of an annoying break, but I can deal with that. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can get um, this to be more stable. There we go. Oh, and it even connects. Okay, all right, good start, good start. Oh, it doesn't tumble, but we could probably fix that. That's a really good start. I actually like this a lot. What if I do something more in the vein of this? I'm talking a drop and a catch, like so. That could be a lot better. Oh! Is he gonna drive again? No! I've seen it drive before like this, but that's not good enough. I need it to tumble better. I wasn't gonna bother trying to figure out how to make each road go into individual height. I figured, well, there's probably a good way to... Good way to shortcut this. After all, we gotta work smarter, not harder! This should be a dub, I think. Oh, <laughs> nope. Never mind. Alright, so I do obviously have problems with how this road rotates. So the top parts can be cable. My main problem is gonna be this thing over here. So I guess I'm just gonna add more weight. See if this changes anything, who knows? It could change everything. You know, it almost changed things in a weird, weird way. Let me maybe make this a string of joints. So the RNG changes based off of how these joints move, huh? Great. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. If I could get to not tumble, that's just as good as getting it to tumble. Like, if it just drives like that. All right, moment of truth. Did we fix anything over here? Oh, it's glorious. Wow, we ignored the tumble and we beat it under budget, no breaks. Well, what an interesting solution. <laughs> Let's go to the next one.